Hey fam, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna be going over my entire face palette collection. I've been having a ton of fun with this series and I'm gonna be introducing a new product type in each video. So we've done foundations, we've done bronzers, and now it is face palettes. So if you are interested in seeing my entire face palette collection, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. y'all so here we have my face palette collection I tried to kind of stack things up by brand and I put them out this way so we could kind of see what's here and I hope you guys like this style of video definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have a different way you like to watch these I'm just trying to kind of set them up so that I can go over the products in detail with you guys give you guys some swatches but I'm definitely open to recommendations suggestions this and that so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and hop into these face palettes so let's go ahead and start right here. I have my little Natasha Denona face palettes. And the first one I have is this Glow Gold Highlighting Palette. This was definitely not my favorite product from Natasha Denona. You can see I kind of almost have a little bit of like, what looks like hard pan in here. I'm not really sure, but you don't really get like a ton of product when you swatch these. I think they're meant to be layered. Taking down the brightness, you can see the shades a little bit better but they're just very subtle. So show you layered. It's not terrible, just not one I reach for all the time. Next from Natasha Denona, we have the Love Glow Palette. This palette is pretty fun. It's got like fun little glitters. I love this packaging. Inside we do have four face products. We have a cream cheek product. We also have a shimmery blush here, another shimmery blush and this like highlighter. So let's go ahead and swatch these. So we have that little highlighter, we have the cream blush, and then we have these two shimmery blush toppers. I think these are just gorgeous. I love all the different formulas. I think these are so pretty. Next from Natasha Denona, we have the Bloom Palette. And in this palette, we have two cream face products, a highlighter and a glittery blush. one cream product, second cream product, our highlighter, and our glittery blush. I think these are absolutely stunning. And last from Natasha Denona, we have the Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. A cream highlighter and then a regular highlighter, I think. A bronzer and another highlighter. So we'll go ahead and swatch these. We have our cream base, highlighter, bronzer, highlighter. Next, let's talk about some Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. And I have a few here. First, I have a little blush palette. This is the Peachy Love Blush Trio. And inside we have three kind of corally peachy toned blushes. This is definitely a palette I do not reach for nearly enough. I would like to reach for more. I think these are really beautiful shades. I have to remember that I have this palette. Also from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have the Aurora palette. This is a highlighting palette with six highlighters in various shades. So even though this looks like a crazy palette, there are definitely several shades in here that are fairly wearable. And you have the blue and purple that are a little bit more exotic, but they can be beautiful inner corner highlights. Next we have the Moonchild palette. This is another colorful highlighting palette. And in here we have some more cool tone shades, like whites, silvers, purples, but we also have like a green and an orange or pink shade. So again, these highlighters are a little bit more exotic, but they're really beautiful. And again, these could be stunning inner corner highlights as well. Really beautiful. And last from Anastasia Beverly Hills is this glow kit. This is in the sugar color story. This is more everyday shades. I love that they bring something a little bit different my collection. 
So next let's talk about some Becca products. So first we have the Becca Chloe and Malika collab. I love this face palette. This is the Chloe palette. So this one's for lighter skin tones. Next we have the Becca collab with Chrissy Teigen. This is another palette that I absolutely love. This is just a stunning, stunning palette. I love this highlighter so much. And this is actually really beautiful too. It's a really pretty blush topper for my skin tone, but I love this highlight. And the bronzer and blush are gorgeous. Huge fan of this palette. And then lastly from Becca, we have the Apres Ski palette. This one has two blushes, three highlighters, and a bronzer. So this is another palette I absolutely adore from Becca. So beautiful. I forgot one other Anastasia product. I have the contour kit in light to medium. This is the powder contour kit. Mine is a little dirty, as you can see. This is a pretty great little palette. It's got some brightening shades here, a banana powder, and then it has some bronzers and contour shades. It's a handy little face palette. I really like this. And we can do some swatches. So obviously this is the shade I reach for the most for my contour. Another one from Becca is this Afterglow Sunset Face Palette. I think this is such a great travel palette. Inside you get two highlighters, a bronzer, and two blushes. This is such a stunning palette and one where I go for every single shade in this palette. So beautiful. What I would have loved to see in this palette is maybe a little bit of diversity between these two blushes. They're pretty much very similar in tone, one just a little bit deeper. I would have loved to have seen a like pinky blush like this as well as like a peachy blush maybe. And that would have been really pretty too. Next I have this one product from Marc Jacobs. This is actually a contour product and I believe this shade is best for deeper skin tones. I picked this up at TJ Maxx and I didn't know at the time, but I've been able to use them, especially mixing these two products together. On their own, they might be a little bit deep for me, but mixed together, I think I can make a nice contour. Next, let's talk about some Tarte products. First, we have the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. This one has two blushes, two highlighters, and two bronzers. Kind of like matte versus shimmery, as well as kind of warm versus cool in a way. So here you can see we have like more of a, maybe a contour shade, a little bit of a cooler shade and a warmer bronzer. The blushes are rather similar. We've got a little bit warmer and a little bit cooler, but here we have like more of a champagne gold highlighter and then a pink highlighter. So I think this is a very versatile, helpful palette. And I really like it. We also have the Tardis Pro Glow and Blush Palette. This one is a little bit more richly pigmented, which I really like. We have a highlighter, a shimmery bronzer, a shimmery pink blush, a corally peachy blush. Maybe this could be a blush too. This looks like a shimmery kind of plummy blush and then this more like raspberry corally shade. These are really pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Oh, that's beautiful. This blush as well. So of the two palettes, I say this one is definitely more exciting. It's a little bit more blush heavy, and then you just have one bronzer and one highlighter. Really beautiful. Next, we have the Park Avenue Princess Palette. This is aesthetically my favorite palette in my entire collection. It is so beautiful. It's my favorite packaging in my collection of any makeup product I own. Oh my goodness, I love this. Inside, we have a pink powder and a more banana powder. Then we have various shades of bronzer. We've got more glittery bronzer, and we've got this kind of contour shade here called Princess Cut. My contour shade has like the biggest dip. So as you see, you've got like various tones of bronzer, different undertones, and then you have the two powders. I do think Tarte's formula is a little bit more on the powdery side, but I find this super blendable, very pigmented, and I love working with this palette. And then lastly from Tarte, I have this palette. This is Life of the Party. 
This is just a blush and bronzer palette, and I, this is a highlighter as well. I really love this blush shade. I think it's really unique. It's like more of like a cool tone lavender shade. Next, let's look at my Alamar Cosmetics palettes. I am loving those new ones that they came out with as well. I'm so tempted. This is their blush palette. This is in the lightest shade. I also picked up the deepest palette because I thought these shades were stunning. I love these for like blush draping. Oh my God. And out of her new palettes, I think I'm the most tempted by the medium one that they currently have. I think I want to pick it up maybe. Keeping my eye on it. But uh, this is the Light Bronzer Contour Powder, Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. So here you have a brightening shade, a bronzer, and a contour. Next, let's talk about some Jouer palettes. I have this one from Jouer, the Champagne and Macaroons Sweet Cheeks palette. This one has a highlighter, two blushes, and a bronzer. This is one of my newest face palettes. I picked this up during the Sephora sale. I've heard so many great things about Jouer's bronzer formula, and I was so excited to try it. And then another palette I completely adore is this Bouquet d'Amour from Jouer. This was, I think, their holiday release like two holidays ago. Love this palette. There's like an orange blush, some pinks, a little kind of plummy purple, and some more nude shades. I don't know, I just really like this palette. I think it's so pretty. Next, let's look at some Too Faced. And I have three from Too Faced. First, I have this Ice Cream Highlighter Palette. And inside you have three shades of highlight. These are super glittery, but so beautiful. This palette did not get great reviews because I know there's a lot of folks that don't really like glittery highlighters, but I am not one of them. I love me some glitter. So I think this is really beautiful. Next, I have the Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection. And this is their older Coco Contour. The Lightning Shade, the Contour, the Bronzer, and the Highlight. So we can see in this palette, we have a Lightning Shade, Contour Shade, a Highlight, which is a little bit more on the subtle side. Kind of a lackluster highlight, if you ask me. And then there's a Bronzer Shade. See, this is a pretty good little contour palette. I picked this up from TJ Maxx a hot minute ago. And I've since then received their newer contour palette, which is the Coco Contour This palette. contour palette is a little bit more diverse than the first one, which is a great thing. This one has, it says light highlighter, medium highlighter, deep highlighter. I would not call these highlighters. I would just call them powders. Overall, I'd say this formula is a little bit silkier, not as powdery, but it's also not as pigmented. I also have some palettes from Benefit here. First, I have the Complexionista, which is a palette I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This typically lives at the back of my face palette drawer, so I had not even swatched this prior to today. So we've got Cream 1 and Cream 2. So I think that would be a great cream contouring shade and cream concealing. Then we have the light bronzer and the hula bronzer. A highlighting cream, and here is the highlighting powder. The highlighting powder is a little bit more, I'd say of a brightening shade. It's, it's not super glimmery to highlight, so I'm not really sure. But overall, I think this palette, I'll get a lot of good use out of once I actually start playing with it. I'm actually really excited about it. I think this palette's a lot more useful than I first thought. I'm actually really excited to use those cream products and to use them with the powder products in this palette. I also have the Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad. See that cookie highlighter is beaming. These are so pretty. I was reaching for these so often I had to put them in the back of my drawer to get me to reach for other things. And now I haven't played with them in a little bit. I want to pull them back out. And then last from Benefit, I have the Cheek Leaders Pink Squad. So 
So we have Dallas, Coralista, Tickle, Hula, and this is Dandelion. That freaking Tickle highlighter is so beautiful. It's like a duochrome pink to gold. So pretty. So we only have four brands left where I have more than one product. And then we have all singles. So let's start with Ofra. I have this little trio from Nikki Tutorials and Ofra. We have Space Baby, Glazed Donut, and Glow Goals in this palette. So these are the three highlighters that Nikki Tutorials did with Ofra. So beautiful. Then we have another one of my like top five favorite face palettes in my whole collection. And this is Ofra Island Time palette. Oh, I know they have some deals running right now for Black Friday. If you can get your hands on this palette, I highly recommend there it. There are four blush shades in here and this gorgeous Bali highlighter. So yeah, I go like right down this little row, but this is also really pretty. Pink I don't reach for as much, but it's still really nice to have a pink shade in here. Gorgeous, and this Bali highlighter, I mean, camera is not doing it justice. It is stunning. It's like a peachy gold. So pretty. I also have two highlighting palettes from MAC. I have the Hyper Real Glow. This is more of the pinky shades. You've got like a white shade here, a light pink, and then more of like a light champagne -y gold. So pretty. And this one's a little bit more on the gold side. So we have kind of a yellow gold here, a champagne -y gold, a little bit pinky, and then we've got this more coppery gold. I think these are just gorgeous, especially this middle shade. Next, let's look at these two from Smashbox. This is the Cali Contour Palette from Smashbox. This is definitely one of my favorite, most reached for face palettes. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a perfect travel palette. This palette is so useful. I pull this all the time. And that would even be a pretty highlight to mix with the bronzer to make more of a glowy bronzer if you wanted to do that. I just find this palette so helpful. I love it, love it, love it. I reach for this all the time. As you can see, my contour palette even has like a bit of a dip in it. <laughs> I do, I love this palette. This next one is a really beautiful palette. I think this came out holiday 2018. I picked this up from TJ Maxx a while back and I have never used this bad boy. It's so silly. Like I don't know why I have never reached for this. I think it's more that it just kind of sits at the back of my drawer as well and I just haven't used it the way I should have. But we've got a highlight, I think this is a blush, a glowy bronzer, a contouring powder, a bronzer, a brightening powder, another highlight, another highlight, and maybe a glowy blush. So that actually looks to be more like a pink highlighter than a blush. Oh, that one's really bright. My goodness, it's like an iridescent one. This is really beautiful too. That could be like a blush topper. This is just a pretty palette. I really need to reach for this guy more. And then let's look at my Hourglass collection. As you can see, I do have a bit of an Hourglass collection here. I feel like I just jump on these releases when they come out because I know they're gonna only be for a little bit of time. Next we have a palette that was re-released last year. This was a hugely popular face palette they had and they re-released it in this little, kind of like happy little bunny, cruelty-free packaging. It's plastic at the bottom, which I don't super love, but it's more about what's inside that counts. So in here we have some, some finishing powders. We have a bronzer, two blushes and a beautiful highlight. This is just a gorgeous face palette. But like I said, those powders are so subtle. But they really look beautiful on the skin. Next I have the palette that was released last year. This is also in that kind of plastic packaging. But this was their new product last year. So again, very subtle. It's hard to see in swatches, but they just leave your skin looking so flawless. And then we have this year's holiday release. 
This has got two finishing powders. I think that's a highlight. Bronzer and two blushes. So again, very hard to see the swatches. I am so sorry. I feel like they do show up more when you apply them with the brush. And then we have two quads. So we have this blush quad that came out for holiday last year. So I think these are really pretty shades. They're all very glowy. You've got like a pink, more of a, I guess kind of more of like a highlighter shade, honestly. But it's supposed to be a blush. And then you've got a peach and this more kind of like mauve coral shade. And then we have my total clownery purchase of the year. When this one came out this year, I checked every single powder on the back against what I had in my collection, both in singles and in my palettes. And I was like, great, this one will be fantastic. And I was gonna just buy that. And then when I was getting to my order, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the quad too. This shade looked like it was like that new red blush shade they'd come out with. Girl, all I managed to do was dupe something I already had. So basically it's like this light shade and then the bronzer, this blush, and this highlighter. Freaking bought them twice, like an idiot. So definitely pay attention when these new releases are coming out that if you do have a larger hourglass collection that you are not just repeating yourself. So silly. So I'm trying to focus on using this one kind of first since I already have duplicates of all of these shades. But yeah, that was my tomfoolery for this year. I also have these thinner palettes that have just the three pans. These are a little bit larger pans. I love this palette. This is a great like all finishing powders palette. I typically just kind of sweep my brush across the whole thing and then apply this after I finished all of my other makeup. I think this is such a beautiful product. Love this palette. And they also re-released last year this, or no, earlier this year, I think actually, this highlighter palette that had been super duper popular and went out of stock and they brought it back. It went out of stock again. I grabbed this when it first was released um, this last time. I was so happy that they re-released this product because I wanted to try it. These are just gorgeous. Love these. And I'll swatch the finishing powders right on top. So these definitely have like a little bit of luminosity, but they basically just make your skin look flawless. And then you've got these gorgeous highlighters. I love both of these palettes. And then the newest addition to my Hourglass Face Palette Femme, we have this re-released product from Hourglass. This is their cream palette. I'd heard wonderful things from Samantha Ravendahl as well as Abby Williams about this palette. And when they re-released this, I jumped on it. It is so beautiful. You can see I've not even swatched this yet. Let's go ahead and do that now. And those are our products. I'm so excited to use this. Y'all know I've been loving me some creams. Then our last face palettes are all ones I only have a one of from each of these brands. First, I have this face palette from NARS. It has one highlighter and five blushes. Next, I have this one from Urban Decay. This is the Afterglow palette. This is not one I have ever used. Definitely need to reach for this. I've just been like reaching for everything else, but now that I've swatched it, I'm like into this. Next, we have another favorite face palette. This one's from Cover FX. I am obsessed with this contour shade. I love this palette. Next, I have the Kenya Ontiveros Beauty Blush and Shine Kit. This is the only one I am not going to swatch in this video. This is an absolutely beautiful like crocodile print on it. The reason I'm not going to swatch this is because I have heard through the grapevine that we're going to be getting two more face palettes in Boxy in these upcoming months. I believe there is a face palette coming from Butter London, and there's also one coming from Ofra. But this is one I have not even swatched from my collection. These are beautiful shades, and I do see myself trying this palette. However, if it comes to where I don't have any more room, this is gonna be one of the first ones to go. So with that in mind, because I haven't touched it yet, 
I could still potentially gift this in a giveaway or I could give it as a gift. I'm just hesitant to swatch this before I've seen the other two palettes that I know are coming soon. I have very limited space in my collection. So just because I haven't touched this one yet, I'd rather not touch it. I just wanna hold off until I'm exactly certain of like what's gonna happen with this palette. Next, I have this beautiful, beautiful blush palette from Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 this freaking beautiful shade. I've used that as an eyeshadow. Oh, I mean, seriously, that's <laughs> so pretty. This blush palette is so stunning. This could be a highlight or a blush topper. I mean, these are just gorgeous. Next, we have my absolute top, top, tippity top favorite face palette in my entire collection. This is the BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease palette. OMG. This little baby, as you can see from these pans, see if you can see that dip in this shade. Not sure if you can. I get so much use out of this little gem. It is such a gorgeous palette. I was wearing this actually the other day. I pulled this all the time. I even hid it in the back of my drawer to try to get more use out of other things and I keep digging into the back of my drawer to pull this back out. I love uh, this palette so, so much. Most used, most loved face palette in my entire collection. Adore this. Next, I have a face palette from KKW Beauty. This is actually in the medium range. I picked up a whole bunch of things from the KKW and Kylie Cosmetics line Black Friday of 2018, which is when I kind of started this massive makeup collection. And I know Kim was using the medium one. And I think that's what I picked up too. I wish I would have picked up the light one, but this is perfectly fine too. This does work really well on my skin. And I, I mean, it's definitely a little powder. You can see how chunky these shades are, but they really do blend beautifully on the skin. I really liked when I've used this palette and I need to reach for it more. Next, I have this super beautiful, beautiful little palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This is their Arthurian. I think that's how you say it. I believe that's like bear in another language. Um, face palette or blush palette, I'm sorry. And oh my goodness. Let's just take a look. I do have a little gouge out of this shade. I think I was like doing a shot my stash and accidentally like dropped a makeup product and like bounced off this blush. It was, it was a hot mess. But there are so many beautiful tones in this palette. I'm so excited. Love. All right, we're getting there guys. We just have this little pile left. This Dior highlighter quad. This is absolutely beautiful. B -U -T this formula is so silky and reflective and beautiful. Just gorgeous. Next from Charlotte Tilbury, we have my Foam Star Bronze and Glow. This has got a contour shade and a highlighter. The highlighter is not too beaming. Just a nice, like more subtle highlighter, but with a beautiful glow. It's not gonna be super like texture enhancing. I love this product. They also have this in a mini now. The second newest base palette in my collection. I got this from this month's Boxy Charm, the November Boxy Premium, I think. Pure's face products are my favorite products from their brand. I think they do exceptionally well with face products. I'm not as huge of a fan of their eyeshadows, though I think their eyeshadows are fine. They're just not like my favorite formula, but their face products are stunning. Look at that highlighter. Ooh. Next, I have this holographic palette from Lime Crime. This is their Opals. And inside you see we have like three kind of iridescent reflective highlighters. Very like dual chromatic. These would be gorgeous inner corner shades as well. Next, we have this beautiful Shimmer Brick palette from Bobbi Brown. You can absolutely put your brush in certain areas, just kind of focus it on that shade if you want to. I like using this one as a highlighter or a blush topper. And this gold one's really pretty too. It'd be pretty mixed with that. It would even be really pretty over a bronzer as well. Next, I have this adorable palette from Lorac. I love all these fun little like pictures. I think it's so cute. I got this from TJ Maxx a while back.
gorgeous. These actually remind me a little bit of the Jouer formula. And this reminds me a little bit of, I think it's called Copper Spice from Becca. But these are just beautiful. Lorac has a really nice blush formula. I think that's my favorite product from their brand is their blushes. And then our very last product from my face palette collection is this KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is a cream contour palette. I definitely want to pull for this more and learn how better to use it. I just think this is so cool. It's my only cream contouring palette. Sorry y'all, so I absolutely completely forgot to show you guys all of my drugstore palettes. So first I have this one from Sleek Makeup. This is just a highlighting palette. And inside we have three cream formulas and one powder. This is my absolute favorite shade in the palette. This one is the Precious Charms. And this is what the highlighters look like swatch. The camera is definitely not doing them justice. They are super, super beautiful in person. Next, I also have this Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. I picked this up because it looks to be like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I really like this formula. I think it's very creamy and easy to work with. I think it's a great alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow if you don't want to spend that money. Next, I have this little highlighting palette from e.l.f. This is pretty much a dupe, in my opinion, for the Fenty Diamond Bomb palette. Does this not totally remind you of the Fenty Diamond Bomb? It's basically just like a gorgeous glittery highlight. I think these are really beautiful. We also have one of my absolute favorite drugstore highlighting palettes. This is the Flower Shimmer and Strobe palette. How beautiful are these highlighters? I think they are so stunning and affordable, but perform like a high-end highlighter. And lastly, we have one more from Makeup Revolution. I don't recall what this palette is called, but this is what it looks like. This is in the more medium skin tone variety. It's blush toppers and bronzer toppers with this maybe as the highlight. I think these are super duper beautiful. So now for the fun part, let's go ahead and count up all my palettes and see how many I have total. Holy cow, I have, any guesses? 57 face palettes. Out of control crazy. I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing my in-depth face palette collection with swatches. I had a lot of fun going over these with you and it was nice to remind myself of what I have as well as to swatch things and get inspired by my own collection. And I would love to hear what some of your favorite face palettes are. Let me know in the comments down below. And I just found another one, 58. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my face palettes. It was so much fun to share them all with you. And just a super quick makeup check-in. I wanted to let you guys know that I was able to try a few products from Target today that I picked up in my little Target shop with me. I was able to try the Got To Be glued gel in my brows today. And while I'm still getting used to this product, I think it was pretty successful in keeping my brows glued up, which I'm really happy about. I also tried my Born To Glow combination on my face today, and I like this so much better. The Alabaster shade was just way too light for me, and I think with this soft beige shade mixed in, it worked way better. On my eyes today, I'm wearing the Nabla Cutie Palette in Platinum. This is such a beautiful color story. I love playing with this palette and the formula is beautiful. The shimmers are out of this world. And on my lips, I have this Becca lipstick in the shade Taupe. Just a really pretty fall shade. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you all so much. And until the next video, bye.